I'm Tim Lowe, I'm a member of the Chow Cox project team. We've taken you around the show flat at uh, the Four Towers. We will start with the small living room window as we will show you what works will be carried out to all windows. As you can see, we have removed the window reveals. We will be removing the existing metal framework from when the tower block was first built, along with the existing windows. We will install the new windows and all window areas will be made watertight and fire stopped. The current plastic reveals will be removed. For households who have the small living room window, the sill will not be lowered here. You will also have the choice of blinds and curtains here as well as opening mechanisms for the windows. The electric winder and the manual winder will be demonstrated in the kitchen and bathroom. You also have the choice of window handle as fitted to the living room window which opens to 9.5 centimetres. This is the main window in the living room. Now we will demonstrate the opening of the new windows. Firstly, we have the 10 centimetre tilt. Turn the handle to nine o'clock and pull. To get to the 30 centimetre turn, push the window shut, turn the handle to 12 o'clock, pull the handle, to the restrictor. To open the window to 90 degrees, first turn the key and then open the window to 90 degrees and engage the restrictor. To close the window back to 30 centimetres, Turn the key and engage the restrictor. You cannot open the window to 90 degrees without the key. Windows have trickle vents which can be opened to allow a low level of ventilation even when windows are closed. Trickle vents allow moist air to escape helping to prevent problems such as stale indoor air, condensation, mould and dew buildup on the glazing. These trickle vents are the correct size for the size of the room, providing sufficient ventilation. The trickle vent reduces sound up to 42 decibels, which is suitable for an urban area. In this room, you have a choice between a trench heater Vertical radiator. And horizontal radiator. If you select to have the trench heater, the window sill will stick out 43 centimetres from the window. If you aren't having a trench heater, the window sill will be 35 centimetres, allowing you to put small plants and belongings here. For a need to finish, pipes needed for the trench heater will be boxed in so you will not see them. They can still be accessed by plumbers if needed in the future. The electricity consumption to operate the fan for the radiator inside the window sill can be compared to the electricity consumption of an LED light bulb. Assuming residents have the fan on for around 8 hours a day in the heating season, this would cost approximately 50p per year per trench heater. These figures are based on January 2022 energy prices. To better block out the sunlight in your homes, if you choose to have curtains in your living room or bedrooms, you will now get net curtains and blackout curtains as standard. Here is an example of the dark grey blackout curtains and white net curtains in the show flat. We also have other colour options 
of the net curtains on display. Here is an example of the dark grey blackout roller blinds in the show flat. The blackout roller blinds are available in these three colours. Following resident feedback, you can now select vertical blinds as an option in your living room and bedrooms. In this room, you have a choice between roller blinds, vertical blinds or curtains. Please feel free to pause the video here to take a screenshot or photo of the colour options. We understand some people may not like the colour options for the blinds and curtains. We are now offering vouchers to some leading retailers for you to buy your own. Within reason, we will fit them for you. In the bedroom, you have a choice between roller blinds, vertical blinds or curtains. Please feel free to pause the video here to take a screenshot or photo of the colour options. Now we will demonstrate the opening of the kitchen window. The show flat has the electric winder option. This is controlled by the key switch. Turn to the left to open and turn right to close. The window opens to 32 degrees. The resident has full control of how wide to open the window. This takes 45 seconds to fully open the window. The window can be opened at any angle within its range. The slower opening mechanism makes it harder for residents, including children, to get their hands trapped in the window. The top window can only be opened with the key in place. These options only apply to the large top opening part. This is the window at its maximum opening, which is at 32 degrees. There is also a lower opening tilt window in the kitchen, which opens to 10 centimetres. The other options for opening mechanisms for the kitchen window are a manual winder, which we will demonstrate in the bathroom, or a window handle as fitted to the living room window, which opens to 9.5 centimetres. In the kitchen, you can have roller blinds. Please feel free to pause the video here to take a screenshot or photo of the colour options. Now we will demonstrate the opening of the bathroom window, if you have one. The show flat has the manual winder option. The window opens to 20 degrees. The other option for opening mechanism for the bathroom window is a window handle as fitted to the living room window, which opens to 9.5 centimetres. In order to prevent leaks from your bathroom into the flats below, we will now be tiling your bathroom windowsill. You will get a choice of six colours for the tiles. Please feel free to pause the video here to take a screenshot or photo of the colour options.